Hello, welcome to the channel. My name is Faceman Art. I am a digital artist, except sometimes I'm not. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing another fan art. I've just had this obsession with something over the last few weeks, you know, maybe month and a half at this point. What is that music? Um, and and the, the fan art is kind of kind of grown out of this obsession that I've had. It wasn't planned. It just kind of happened organically as I've been. OK, what is the music, though? So yes, the obsession has been Helldivers 2. I've been having a great time with the game. You know, Borderline Addicted, if I have to be honest, feels like it's been a long time for live service, especially where a company has treated the consumer first. They're not looking for to, to get you with any gotchas. And you know, Lord knows I hate being got by a getcha. This isn't a review of the game. I'm just quickly saying what the fan art is, Helldivers 2. So the why of it, I think, breaks down into just a lot of people role playing. That's kind of where I generated the idea originally from. You have, you know, these broadcast stations on YouTube and TikTok. But I thought I'd kind of throw a little bit of a spin on it. Find me spinning every once in a while. And I thought, what if we looked at it from a citizen point of view or a scientist point of view? And that's kind of where I came up with the idea of morphology sheets. It's pretty much just studying um, a plant or an animal as, as a little science dude. And I think at, at, you know, at least for me personally, I think at heart, a lot of people just want to be little science dudes doodling in their notebook. Maybe I'm alone in that. So I started this process in my sketchbook. The ideas were very loose, but they were there and it allowed me to kind of play with what I wanted to draw. The bug that I ended up choosing was the charger, which is um, like almost like a rhino-esque creature it has a bunch of armor on its front it runs at you full speed you have to like dive out of the way but for some reason you know there's desync and you still get caught and then you're stuck underneath the charger and you can't get up and you just keep your you're rag doll and there's nothing you can do your health's dropping down you're screaming at your so i looked up morphology got a bunch of references that was step one after i'd gotten all my references I could move on to the next step, which was bringing in my sketches, the loose ones that I did in my sketchbook. So I got I got some loose sketches. I've chosen what I'm actually drawing. Finally, we're at the stage where I'm comfortable at. We're in the digital realm. And then I got on to outlining. Outlining is like my favorite part of the whole situation, the whole process. So I was, I was right in my comfort zone, baby. The outlining went pretty well. I don't know why I started walking off screen like I was, uh, you know, Biden giving a speech. I think here's a good point to talk about uh, the second part of that sketch the bottom half of the morphology sheet you know i have like this degradation period of the of the claw the the foot the leg the reason that that bottom part is in it is because it's supposed to be field notes right it's supposed to be useful to the uh the scientific community of super earth which is a, a militaristic society in this in this game so what is the value that I can give as a scientist is, is how to kill the damn things. So that's why that's why we have that beautiful part on the bottom. All right, we're almost at the end of this piece. Stay with me. I moved on to the details at this point. We have the mouth, we have the weird soft underbelly, and then we have the armor. There's little Easter egg parts of these details, I think, that kind of fit into the whole wider world of Super Earth. But then I also realized, you know, it's kind of miss is 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 missing a little bit. It's missing a little bit of something, and that something was color. So I just threw on a very quick overwash of almost like a watercolor, um, color. Oh, I, I, uh, I'll throw it on screen now. This is what the final piece looks like. Pretty happy. I think it very much filled the, the idea that I had of a morphology sheet of a charger in this, you know, fictional world of Helldivers 2, where everything is propaganda, even the science. And that was that piece complete. Um, I had done it. I had come up with an idea, executed it, filmed it, and now we're here. And you know, the YouTube video it could come out, come out any time. But then I, well, I got the damn itch, man. And I was like, it's not like there's a super big rush. You know, I don't need to get a YouTube video out soon. You know, my goal of getting one out every two weeks is probably on schedule. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! So I did another one. And I thought it would be a good idea to do a life cycle, because I feel like that's like the perfect concept for morphology. So the second subject, if you're wondering, 
is the stalker, which is this invisible bug that will just come out of nowhere, uh, sneak up on you, and then throw a bunch of tongues out at, at you, fucking knock you back a hundred feet, break all your bones, you'll be lying, lying there in agony as the rest of the bugs come and consume your corpse. He's a great guy. So I thought that'd be a fun life cycle to draw and sketch. I don't know why I'm so close. I was looking at my script. Yeah, you know what? I wrote a script for this video and I feel like it's it's going along a lot smoother. So it feels like a good idea. I don't have to hide it. So for the second art piece, the process was very similar, except that it actually wasn't. So I don't know why I just said that. It was very different. Between not having what I needed, having scribbles, and having egg. That's all I had. I, do, I did have egg. Um, there was, you know, the egg was done in the sketchbook, so I did have egg. So the process was definitely different on this one at the reference stage, just because I had to get a lot more information because I didn't have kind of a loose sketch to build off of. Got the stalker uh, images that I needed. Egg, we already went into great detail about egg. The hunters, which are these, you know, the, the stage before the final stalker, they also throw their tongues out. They're probably the most hated enemy in the game right now. No issue with that. But then it all went downhill. We had to try and find the hopper. You know, I was sleuth in the internet, trying to find some kind of reference to what I was looking for. I knew they existed. I'd fought these things so many times. I knew that they were the, the stage before the hunter. So I, I, go to, I go to the official Discord, I go to Reddit, and I'm asking all these people. Um, and eventually, some, you know, like the, like the Mercy meme, comes down in the Discord server and is like, I got a screenshot for you. This is what you're looking for. So that was the reference part of getting the sketch. All right, after getting those references together, I arranged them on the canvas in ways that I thought would be pleasing to the eye, but also, you know, that had a kind of a form to it. The goal was to make like a circle, like a, a cycle, if you will, of life. So I did that and then I kind of traced over top just very loose blocks of what these things looked like. I do feel like it was a little bit of a cheat blocking it in, um, looking back on it, but I was kind of just in the mode of, of of being creative and getting it done. I didn't really think about it, but I don't know. If you say that's cheating, fair enough, you got me. But I blocked in a little bit of the pictures and then I got to digital sketching. Egg was obviously based on the sketch that I had. I added a few behind it. The hopper, you know, we've talked about the hopper already enough. And then the hunter. I'm like so damn proud of how the hunter came together in the final piece, but just at the sketch phase, I just felt like I was in a good flow. I added the the whole tongue thing because, you know, they whip you with their tongues and then you get stunned. And then for some reason that makes it so you can't heal or shoot. And it's like, what am I going to do? Die? Yeah, that's what you do. You fucking die. And then finally the, the stalker, which also came together really, really well. I think the whole sketching process was a whirlwind. I felt like I was really in my creative juices. I don't want to be in the juices. I was in my flow. I had creative juices flowing. So in the process of outlining, I also had to do the details. And I got to tell you, I did find a damn battle in the details. I did the detail on the tongue of the hunter. Now you zoom in on a tongue that's very long and, and flailing. And you know what happens? It just looks like a penis when you zoom in. So I was, I was uh, damn, I, I fought that for 30, 45 minutes. I, I just kept drawing penises on this wonderful piece of art that I was really enjoying. And I, eventually, I think I, we got away from the phallic looking nature of it because what I did is I made the tongues kind of split at the end. And I hope to God your penis doesn't look like that. But I, I think it got away from the whole, the whole phallic issue. But after the whole penis fiasco of 2024, as it will thus be remembered, I got onto the other details, which were the egg development of the weird, whatever goes on in an egg. I don't know, I just made it up. And then the mouth again, because it's kind of fun to draw mouths up close for these crazy creatures. They have like spit flying everywhere, teeth all which way, because they don't have um, dentists or orthodontists on the planet yet. And then we got to the coloring, and damn, like nor I'm always kind of lost in the sauce when it comes to coloring things digitally a lot of the times. But if oh, again, really smooth for this project, um, at least for this second piece in particular. So all the final little bitty details were added, the color was added, the stamp was added, uh, textures were thrown on top. This is the final piece. Now it is important to mention that although I was really feeling good about this art process, I was definitely in a mind state of started making it had a breakdown <laughs> bon appetit i mean i was just having a little bit of a crisis when it came to uh filming for youtube and trying to get youtube videos out i'm gonna do my best i mean i say this every video to get it out as often as i can 
but I can't do it at the detriment of my own, you know, creative process and, and having time to sketch and, and experiment and, and not have to worry about filming at all. Either way, I had successfully done it. I had completed two full art pieces for this morphology idea of Hell Divers. I put up both of these art pieces as I finished them and there was some requests to maybe buy some prints. So if you are interested in prints, I do have them both um, on in print. I have ordered from there before to make sure the quality is good. I guess now's a good time as any to say, if you like what you see, consider liking, subscribing, uh, follow me on, on the socials. I got, I got Instagram, I got a Discord. There's a Patreon too, if you want access to full res images. And I also upload all the, just the outlines of all my images. If, if you find value in that, it's more kind of a support thing. I do want to get more stuff on Patreon. That's enough self plugs though. This was a fun project. It definitely went on way, way too long as it always does with me. Thank you so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Uh, you know, half the time I forget my damn outro. Stay stranger, stay my friend. <laughs>